Hello everybody, my name is Morten Farisran. Welcome to my studio and welcome to this lesson. Today we're going to talk about using jazz concepts uh, when playing a rock solo. Or we're going to talk about one jazz concept in particular. It may sound uh, a bit strange if you start playing jazz when you're playing uh, on a rock song. So <laughs> that's not what I'm, I want you to do. There's, but there was one thing, one uh, concept that we have actually been talking quite a lot about, uh, named triad pairs. Uh, that uh, works really well in in any style like jazz, uh, jazz of course, but also like rock or blues or country. So um, uh, let me show you just an example of uh, how to use this. So that was a solo I did on a kind of southern rock country slash whatever kind of tune and le so let me show you uh, let's first talk about what triad pairs is this is um it's a song in the key of a and it's kind of a, it's not a 12 bar blues it's more like a 24 bar blues but it, it, it you know, it's it's coming from a blues tradition <laughs> So uh, in the key of A, it still implies that we're playing kind of a dominant feel to that thing. So the triad pair element here is that you play uh, two uh, triads, in this case G and A. On, on the dominant chord, it's really cool to play a triad from one step below. So in this case, G. Okay. And then we just move that up, uh, the inversions on the next. We have G, A, G, A, G, A, and then it repeats one octave up. We're not doing the entire thing, because that's going to sound like an exercise. So when we, when we actually play this solo, uh, we don't do the entire thing. If you want to check this out, uh, I'm moving a bit faster, just rewind the video if you want to check out these arpeggios. Um, uh, of course, uh, on Morton's lesson, we have like a big section uh, on triad pairs that really goes through it in detail. So if you want to dig into that, that's cool too. Um, so what I did with, uh, with this lick that we're looking at today, so this was this was improvised. I didn't plan it. So, <laughs> but uh, it turned out that there was a thing that I did spontaneously that I thought was uh, kind of neat, and that was instead of playing the entire thing, I just skipped this the string in the middle, so we get instead of, and on the next inversion we get instead of and so on this instead of and so so what i like about this idea in in this particular setting is that it really builds momentum you know it, it really feels like uh, you you have this idea that you you you, you kind of just uh, stay with and it's clear that it needs to go somewhere it needs to resolve and in this case it resolves to Right, it's a very logical. Uh, but anything you you know, anything you want to resolve to, like like a big, uh, you know, a big thing on the end, is gonna is gonna work great. And you can really take your time with this, you know, because the idea is is so simple uh, and so clear, uh, but still. Uh, to me, at least, it doesn't sound like an exercise. Uh, there, there's one thing I did uh, on the end, uh, if as <laughs> the observant uh, viewer will see, is that when we get to this point, that's actually not G or uh, an A, it's C and D. And the reason for that is that we're playing uh, 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 on this specific part of the song, we're playing on the chord of D. Um, so, similarly to key of A, that, that would be G and A triads. On D, we have C and D triads. So uh, when playing the blues, uh, as I'm sure you know, it's common, you can play, play just stay in one key, but it's also common to kind of follow the chords. So when we play on an A, and we get to D, you can go and play the D scale, or the D kind of around the D tonality, but you can also, you can also stay on the A, so that's 
basically what's happening here. It's going from staying on the A tonality, which is G and A. <laughs> I'm sorry if this goes fast. Just re rewind the video if it's too fast. So we're going from the A tonality to the D. All right. This would be exactly the same. Uh, D, C, you can do it in version D, C, uh, D, C, you know, uh, same thing. Uh, so, so that kind of uh, broke the pattern, so it didn't sound like I was doing... You know, breaking the pattern is good. <laughs> uh, the great solos that you look, look at, um, you can find uh, elements like this, but they never stay long, you know, on, on like a very theoretical thing like this. It's always just one lick is going to contain like both uh, uh, maybe arpeggio and chromatics and scales and you know like all things just flow naturally in, in a melodic idea so hopefully that was <laughs> I, I accomplished some of that with this lick <laughs> So uh, again, uh, if you want to really check out the triads, uh, triad pairs, mortenslessons.com is a whole section on it. And you, if you haven't been subscribing to my site at all, you get a one dollar trial membership uh, for two weeks. So and that gives you access to everything, absolutely everything on the site, every backing track, every lesson, you know, hundreds of. Uh, of lessons, so uh, I, I really encourage you to check that out. Of course, um, I think it's a nice site, and uh, have a great day and have fun with this stuff. Bye bye.